Good morning, Post and Road Tigers. Today is Monday, April 23rd, 2018. Your lunch choices for today are nachos with meat and cheese or nachos with meat and cheese chef salad with ham. So I'm reading this. I'm not sure if this is accurate. Nachos with meat and cheese, chef salad with ham and Cheez-Its. Okay, so nachos with meat and cheese or chef salad with ham and Cheez-Its served with cucumber slices, pintos and cheese, and mandarin oranges. That threw me off there a little bit. Happy birthday today to Drew Hendricks. Happy birthday, Drew. Hope you have a great day. And Mrs. Vulcan. Yes, it's my birthday as well. Yep, yep, yep. All right, moving on. Um, my words of wisdom here we are. Sorry about that. Coming up here, we've got our last day of fourth grade ice step today, and then third grade ice step begins tomorrow. Mr. Brock is going to be our watchdog tomorrow. And Read Up Celebration is on Thursday afternoon at 2.30 for those students participating in the Read Up program. And then Friday, we have our fourth graders going on the Discovery Concert and then going to the Discovery Concert. Mr. Waller is our watchdog on Friday. And then boys and girls, we are going to have another hat day for uh, the High School's Dance Marathon. So $1 for a hat on Friday if you'd like to wear one. All right, we've got a lot of action this week. Cooperation is what we're going to talk about today with our words of wisdom. Do you know the Arabic legend about how the camel got the hump on his back? Long ago, before the camel had a hump, his friends were all working very hard to do their chores. Each one, the dog, the horse, and the ox, all asked the camel to help with the chores. But the camel was being lazy and selfish and simply said, hump. A genie showed up and asked the camel to help his friends, but he still wouldn't do it. This made the genie very angry. She wiggled her nose and caused a big hump to grow on the camel's back. Once the camel had that big, ugly hump on his back, he could work for three days straight without food or water, which is, by the way, the exact amount of times he let his friends work without his help. Hmm, interesting story with something to think about. This is Mrs. Vulcan. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. All right, boys and girls, I can't remember if I announced it or not, but room 22, congratulations, perfect attendance, big blue chair for this week from last week's attendance. Great job. Have a great day, everyone.